Did you miss out on the huge gains that happened from Axie Infinity? Well, most did. I was an early investor in Axie Infinity, and I felt that Axie Infinity had a strong idea, and their timing was great. And when Tom Anderson from a blockchain company called Devio showed me his game they were working on back in last October, I was blown away. Now, I've been following the blockchain gaming space since the beginning of Axie Infinity, and I felt that I saw something in Tom Anderson's game that was exceptional, especially for it was where it was with blockchain gaming and where the space is right now. I saw something that had much, much more depth than anything out there in the blockchain space at the time and something that could potentially do very well. Well, today I'm going to show you some of what Litcraft and experience is and bring you up to speed on it, which is the game that Tom Anderson showed me many months ago and that Devio built on its blockchain. As well as I'm going to show you some gameplay of the game to see what you think. Welcome to the Crypto Rain channel. I'm your host, Jay Rain. If you like money and you like crypto and you're looking for a real investor take on the crypto market, join the Rainmaker family by liking this video and subscribing with the all notifications bell enabled. Do note, I'm not a financial advisor. I am a crypto investor myself. I also love video games. I do own or plan to own most of what I talk about on this channel because I don't talk about crypto projects that I don't believe in their value proposition. Special thanks to our Patreon members. We do have a private Discord that our Patreon members get access to. Also note, I am an advisor to this project, so I am definitely biased. I'm an equity investor in Devio, which created this game and runs it on their blockchain. Still, I became an advisor because I felt it was well positioned in time and in the space to have a much better than normal chance to do well, in my opinion. So make it rain on that like button and strap in for the show. Let's welcome our producer, D Money. Hey, Jay, what's going on? I'm excited to talk about Litcraft. I, like you, am a video game nerd. I don't think you said nerd, but... Uh... <laughs> I, but, yeah, I definitely fall into the nerd category, right? I just don't have nerd glasses. Yeah, but this is the space that is going to revolutionize the game world, right? Um, Absolutely. The idea of playing to earn. We've seen it with Axie Infinity already. Um, and I love I love Litcraft. I love, I love the lore. I love the look of it. Um, and I'm really excited to see, you know, what 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 they've developed now because we've seen some kind of early glimpses and, and now it's a... Uh, it's, it's being built out even more. Yeah, this is definitely not the first time I've showed the game or showcased the game, but it was in an earlier stage that I showcased it. Now it's in a persistent stage. They're going to continue working on the game and developing it, but what you earn and what you collect in the game, you get to keep. So that's what we call persistence, and that just barely launched, and that's really exciting. It is married up to the Devio blockchain. And so it is a place where if you download the game and play it, it's fun because you get to keep what you collect. Now, if you follow my channel, you know that I'm a fundamentals investor. What has helped me go from thousands to millions in the past few years in crypto is that I look at the underlying fundamental value that I feel that I see in projects. I look for strong teams. I look for strong narratives and good timing and other fundamentals that give a project or investment a chance to do better than average. So let's share some foundational things to Litcraft so you know some of the backstory. Tom Anderson, the creator of this game and the CEO and founder of Devio, which is the blockchain that this game runs on, has a 15 year history in gaming. He also is exceptionally good at algorithm creation and close to five years ago, he figured out a way to algorithmically solve the blockchain scaling issue and created an algorithm that can handle millions of transactions per second for their blockchain. Yes, you heard that correctly. Millions of transactions per second and is already working and has been for over four years. Now, you might ask if he solved the problem close to five years ago, why is his stuff only launching now? Because there is a problem that is similarly difficult to solve, which is which programming language are they going to use for their system? Now, this is a problem all blockchains face, and some decide to go with Solidity, which is really limited and was built as the language for the Ethereum chain. Some have gone with a coding language like Haskell that there are 
lots and lots of developers out there that already speak, and that's what Cardano decided to do. Tom decided to use a programming language called RESTful API, which is a language 90% of developers already understand, but it is extremely hard to make work with your blockchain sharding technology. And this is what took so much time. Now, why is that special? Well, because the breadth of developers that already understand how to use API calls to interact with something. So you interact with the Devio blockchain through API calls. And so it's very powerful with the number of transactions it can do for per second, as well as extremely powerful with the number of coders that will be able to interact with this blockchain. Now, why does the blockchain behind Litcraft matter? Well, to some extent, it doesn't necessarily, as long as it is fast, cheap, and especially if it is so fast, you don't even realize it is there. At millions of transactions per second, you do not even realize it is there. So, what is Litcraft? For the past decade, Tom Anderson has been creating the lore behind a story in a world of magic called Litcraft. Essentially, in the story, mages walk among regular people. They're often not even aware that they are born with special magical abilities until they are found by magicians who seek out those who are special and help ignite or light their special magical abilities. Those abilities are ignited, also known as being lit. In other words, in, or in this world of mages, they are like us. They walk among us, but also have created special hidden cities and places where only they know to go. They also like games and have special games that these mages enjoy playing that reflect their magical world. And Litcraft Nesperience is the first of these games that the mages play and that we can also play. So let's take a look at their website and then we'll look a bit at their gameplay. Here you can see the website at litcraft.io. By the way, I love this name. Now Nesperience is kind of like um, Litcraft is the brand and they will have other games that launch and Nesperience is their first one. Now you can see right here from the website, this is now live that you can download the game using this link and you can download it for PC or Mac. It will be available on phones later, but for now it's available on PCs and Macs. You can go through some of the history and these characters are fun. If you look here, you see Grant Began, The Finder's Code, which Tom Anderson, also written by Jonathan R. Miller, created this book several years ago. And there's a lot already put into this lore and a book that's already been published. You can actually go and buy the NFT version of the books that we'll look at in just a second. You can also get a feel for the history, the society, the mage life, and all the lore that's already created through these links here. Now, if you go to this book, you can buy a special limited edition premier collectible, which 24, what is that? About 0.8 ETH right here um, for one of 1,000, right? So there's only 1,000 of these and you can buy that for 2401. You can also buy a numbered copy, but the standard edition for about this much. Now, if you click on the buy now, it takes you to glassblock.io, which is their marketplace that will interact with the Litcraft universe and which is also running on Devio. It allows you, you can pay um, through ETH, right through the interaction with your MetaMask. And so you can buy these things as well as you can load money into their store or pay for things right through systems that you're already using through MetaMask, or you can actually send it to an address that they give you within a certain time frame. So it makes it very easy to interact with. So this gives you an idea of this, I, um, as well as, I'm gonna click on Grant Began. This gives you more experience on the book. It, it's kind of fun to get on here and look at some of the things involved in the lore and start to understand this so you can get a feel for if this might be something that you're interested from the gaming side or possibly even from the investment side. Now let's take a look at the game itself. Now in the game, it first brings you to this map and you see I've been doing some mining here. 
and you can upgrade your mining tool, which I upgraded a little bit. You start at mining level one, and I've upgraded mine to right at the top here. You can't quite see because the Crypto Rain logo, but it has a four underneath the pickaxe, which shows I'm at mining level four. And what that does is it changes the speed at which you mine. So level one mines faster. And what we're doing is we're mining, looking for some things like see these red gems. Those are very helpful as well as all kinds of different things here. This I think is a bronze chest. And as we mine these, they all go into our inventory here. So we see this, that's grass. We see limestone. We see, now these are some of the chests that I bought, the lit pet chests. I bought 10 of their Genesis level lit pet chests. You can click on open, but it's not enabled yet. You're not able to open them. I bought 20 of their land chests and you can see those reflected here. Dirt, you can see some bronze chests that I got through digging. You can see silver chests here and keys, as well as I got some fruit from a different part of the game. I have two level eight pick axes, level one, level nine pick axe. I'll show you how you can get those. This gem thing, what we need for this gem thing is we need a bunch of these, these red gems, and I'll show you how that all works. So this is the mining section that you mine and you get some things there. Then you can come here and you can start a business. Now, right now they have the farming business, the mining business, which isn't too different from what I was just doing, but you are able to earn different things when doing a mining business, farming, efficient crops, equipment store, and then some of these other things are coming soon. Then if you click on this one, it'll allow you go to, this is where you can get your different level of pickaxe, which you then combine with red gems to increase your mining level. The way this game works is it's a merge type game. So what we're looking to do is merge things of the same number to get higher numbers. Okay, so then I have three of these level threes. I merge these two together and I get a level four. And what happens is the better you get at this, the higher level you can get to before you run out of space to merge things. Because if you run out of space to merge things, you hit this and it collects the highest number that was in there. So once I got up in my inventory to nine, twice I got to eight, um, twice I got to sevens. Um, and then you combine them with higher level red gems. So this, when I played the gem game, the highest I got to there was five. And I will show you how that crafting works in a minute. So going back to this, you're just merging these. And then you, when you hit collect, this will collect the highest level tool and place it in your inventory. But we'll also delete the remaining tiles. Are you sure you want to collect? So that is going to collect the number four there. Okay. And obviously I would keep going because I would want to earn something. But this is just for demo purposes. Now the red gems feeder, you have to feed red gems that you've dug into that. So I'm going to place some red gems here, go back and add these into here. So now you'll see I have eight total. And so this little one is interesting. What it does is it places, so when I click my button, it's going to drop whatever is in this queue. Now, currently these are all ones, but they could be up to level three. And what you have to do is put three of them close to each other, like touching, and then they will accumulate in the space where the last one was put. And it's really critical that you understand that they accumulate in the space where the last one was put because where you place things in this game makes a big difference. So there, now this one, uh, I don't have any more, but if I had another red gem in the feeder, it the next one is going to be dropping me as a level two. And if I put it here, these would all three merge down into a level three. And like the other game, when I do collect this, it's going to harvest the highest number that I was at. We'll show in a bit what the relevancy of that is. Now, this is a fruit game that you use to harvest some fruit. And with this, you just double click on areas where you have multiple fruit together. So I'm going to say harvest these. I'm going to grab these watermelons. Um, and let these blueberries accumulate there before I harvest them. 
Let's see. Well. Yeah. All right. Now, I'm still learning at this game. I. It's fun that it has all these simple type games that you can just play mindlessly while you're watching TV or whatever. Gives you some bonuses, but you're essentially harvesting these whenever you make a group and they'll go into your inventory. So you see I have 51 watermelon, 51 grapes. I have 78 strawberries, 47 bananas, 70 oranges. Now, this game has a lot of depth to it. One of the things that they created to help is you'll have these different things to accomplish here. Now I've already gone through a bunch of them. So some of the next things that it says start an efficient crops. I think I'm saying that right. Business, send an item to a friend, craft sticks, improve mining level to six, pass the lit craft quiz. And so these tasks will take you through all becoming familiar with the game and how to play it, which is awesome that they did a great job on that. So that is that part of the game. Another part of the game is this, and this is a merge. So these will, are actually key to helping you create different pets, and then you can take those pets and make lit pets. So what you're doing is you're merging these different items. Notice I'm dragging two of the same kind. So this mind is dragged onto that mind. It then get, goes from red to the color orange. I drag an orange one on there, so I get a yellow. Take this yellow on top of another one like that, and I get green. And then all the way to blue, and the end color that you want is this light, light blue. Now, you can use these at an earlier stage, but if you keep doing this till you get this light blue color on them, and you use those combined with some things that you can get through mining to create your pets, you get the highest or strongest level of pets. You can then turn those pets into lit pets through a process. So this gives you kind of an introduction to the game and what the game is all about. There is also battling. And so you can create lit pets. Now they still do have some Genesis lit pets you can still buy, which are at the highest level, level seven, which are stronger. Um, or you can just come in here. It is free to play. You can download this for free. You don't have to pay anything. And they'll give you a starter deck. So I have some different things picked out here. And, you know, they give you the starter deck. But you can actually create your team by merging certain things. You can create the specific pets that you want and, by, and create exactly the team that you want. So right now we're just going to go battle our starter deck team that we have. So the goal is to destroy their tower and you can't start dropping your guys on the map until they be, there we go. They take a certain amount of time depending on their level and other things before it'll let you drop them onto the map. So I'm waiting for that one to be ready. Okay. Jay, are you battling a person, or is this just a... I, I think this computer? is AI. AI um, yeah. I don't think the person to person is available yet. And the goal is to be able to get to their tower and, and take down their tower. And so obviously to do that, you have to win battles on this level. And different pets have, like, special abilities. I don't remember exactly what some of the special abilities are, but they will automatically keep pushing forward. So you'll see sometimes something pops up above. You can click on that to then execute that skill. And you can see that their tower is losing health right here. You are making it rain on that tower. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I am very amazing at battling the level zero bot. <laughs> now the level one bot... Um, Two out of three times has kicked my butt. Okay. <laughs> then we go to the next round, and probably I'm going to get ruthlessly marked in this round. Whoa. 
Wow, that's yeah. got some range. They told you they're going to kick my butt. I'm still waiting for these guys. And, and some will spawn faster than others. That just has to do with their stats. So he had some pretty powerful long-range ones in his deck that allowed him to spawn them right away. Which is smart gameplay, right? Like, he is totally kicking my butt. Because then my dudes are coming alive just in time to get murked by his long-range dudes that are already out on the playing field. Oh boy, I am getting trounced. It's not even close. Well, they've yet to hit oh. your tower. So, I don't know, Jay. That one special ability I had with like the, they look like uh, ninja stars. Yeah, that wiped out the whole row. That was awesome. I might not die terribly on this one either, but I won't play around three. But if I did, probably you would see me get totally trounced because I don't yet know what I'm doing with this. Looks cool, though. I can see how, you know, I mean... I, I'm not the biggest, like, tower defense guy, but it's a little bit different. It's kind of got a plants versus zombies, like the old plants versus zombies feel to it with the lanes and that sort of a thing. Yeah, it definitely has some good strategy. And since I saw the alpha, their animations are upgraded and these special abilities have been added in. So it, it's still early stages of this, but we are in a state of persistence that you can earn things. And uh, they have a vibrant Telegram community so that you can get in there and ask questions and learn how to play this. What I like about this, if anyone in the audience has ever played Axie Infinity, you know how simple and basic Axie Infinity is and that like there is no depth to it. They have pretty in-depth crafting here. So we're going to exit. Yes, we're going to lose that progress. That's okay. Um, and then I want to go back to crafting. All right. So there we go. Uh, so I have a new task. Return to the taskbar. Oh, create a bag of strawberries is on my task to do. So that's something I can do. Um, you'll be able to walk through. I'm not going to go through and do that. There is a crafting table that you can craft things like one of the things you can do is go into your inventory and take coal. So I'm going to go to where coal is and I'm going to say one here and use the bar. And it's going to drop one from my inventory into here. Go back to the crafting table. And then I'm going to craft that and you turn it into fire. Um, and they'll walk you through how to do this. But this crafting table is where you will craft pets into lift pets. You will craft different magical items combined with some things that you can find mining into the pets to begin with. And they take you through how to do that. But in this information thing, it shows, okay, so in order to create a pet and, and then battle pets, you first have to take, so this stone combined with this finding thing. Now, if you get the highest level of finding, that light blue color I was telling you about, it'll create the strongest level, pet then pets can be combined with a lit pet token, two food containers, magic and heptals to create lit pets. So they give an example of creating what it would take to create this lit pet. They also go through what it takes to up your mining tool. They give you an idea of what can be earned here through the different breeding to get these different types of pets. So I think the pictures actually show up for you once you've actually done them. But you can specifically create your team figuring out what kind of stats you're looking for by actually breeding to it. So uh, it's pretty complex. Uh, I, I've got it down. I think I like pretty much, yeah, I think I understand it all 100%. That's really complicated, but it's cool how much, uh, you know, how many different options there are, right? Yeah, the level of depth here is actually what we're looking for, right? So when we compare it to Axie Infinity that is so basic and simplistic, here you have something where you can create your team very specifically and what you're looking for. Now, when you go to create uh, pets into lit pets, 
you randomly get the tier that it's in. And obviously the higher tiers have the higher strength, which is where the Genesis ones come in, that they do have an advantage. Now, when you buy these Genesis pets, they are level seven and they are in chess. You don't know what pet you're going to get, but they are all level seven. So that's why I bought a bunch of these chests. I bought some of the land. Now, specifically, the Lit Pets too can also help your business run efficiently depending on the stats of the Lit Pets. And so these Genesis Level 7 ones, I bought a bunch as well as I get some as an advisor. I bought some of the land as well as I get some as an advisor. I also bought one of the One of 1000 Grant Vegan books because if this does really well, my guess is that might do really well. I also bought one of the $10 ones. I'll probably buy a few more of those, the numbered ones. Still very early days of this game. I don't know how many have sold. I don't know what mint number I have there, but I mean, they're $10. So I'll probably pick up some more. So in conclusion, is this one special? I do believe it marks the next step in the evolution of play to earn games as we move closer to the level of games we're used to in traditional gaming. But with the power of an ownership society where we can actually own what we earn, which is what video games right now don't have. What could do well in this as far as an investment in this game? You are able to buy the Genesis Lit Pet Chess, chess and the Genesis Land Chess. So like I shared with you, I've already bought some, even though I've already got, I will get some as an advisor. I bought a bunch of additional to that. Now, do I know that this project will do amazing things as far as ROI? No, you never know for sure. So I can't say that I know. I make my best guesses looking at the strength of the team, the narrative that their project is in, and the timing of it. And I like this one enough that I invested lots of my own funds, both in Litcraft, but also in Devio itself, and worked with and gave them some of my time in the middle stages of the development of the game. I like this one a lot. Um, we, I spoke with Tom last week and we'll probably set up an interview sometime in the coming month to have him back on the channel. You can go back and watch a prior video that I did with him. Gosh, it might've been as early as last March or April talking about Devio back then and their blockchain and the, you know, the transaction per second it can handle and what some of their goals are. If you're in the audience watching this video and you're ready to be a rainmaker and join what I call the Navy Seals of Crypto to level up your crypto game, join us. It's as simple as liking this video and subscribing with the all notifications bell enabled. Those that don't will probably look back five years from now and really wish they had. Remember, no rain, no gain. To the space, chasing all of the games, chasing yeah. the pumps and all of the hype trains. But like in life, uh, shit, right before you could, it was supply when it was pouring like a rain, make a shirt.